Do and make, what's the difference? The verbs do and make, are among the most used words in the English language. These two words often confuse English learners, because they often use one verb for both in their native language, like hacer in Spanish. To help your students understand this better, take a look at the following chart below showcasing the difference between do and make. Do and make are two verbs that frequently confuse students learning English. The following explanations will help you better understand the difference between do and make, and when to use each one. When do we use do? 1. Do is used when talking about work, jobs, or tasks. For example, I usually do my homework as soon as I get home. I have to start doing the housework. She hates doing the laundry. 2. Do is used to refer to non-specific activities. For example, Hurry up. I've got things to do. Is there anything I can do to help you? 3. Do can be used to replace a verb when the meaning is clear or obvious. For example, Can you do my hair? Have you done the laundry yet? 4. Do is used as an auxiliary verb for questions. For example, Do you speak English well? Does she like to go shopping? Did we go to the store? When do we use make? 1. Make is used for producing, constructing, or creating something. For example, wine is made from grapes. I made this cake for you. She makes coffee every day at 2 p.m. 2. Make is used for producing an action or reaction. For example, cutting onions makes your eyes water. Eating chili makes some people sick. If you marry me, I will make you happy. 3. Make is used before nouns about plans and decisions. For example, she made an appointment at the hair salon. They're making plans for the weekend to go on a camping trip. 4. Make is used with nouns about speaking in certain sounds. For example, the twins are sleeping, don't make a noise. She was so upset and didn't make a peep the whole evening. 5. Make is used with food, drinks, and meals. For example, my mom makes dinner at 6 p.m. every day. I can make you a mojito if you like. 6. Make can be used to force someone to do something. For example, my mother makes me go to bed at 10 p.m. every day. My date made me wait for her for one hour. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.